Um, so all throughout human history, people have been recognizing the fundamental nature of mind, the fundamental nature of reality. And so this instinctive recognition is nothing new. And I can look at my own experience of that, and I can see throughout my life I had these moments of the instinctive recognition of the unified nature of everything. And these moments were so profound and so um, undeniable that I knew that this was something that was really of value because it put into perspective everything that I'd learned. It put into, sp into perspective all of my thoughts, my emotions, my sensations. Suddenly there was something that was all embracing. And I could see that for myself very directly and very clearly in, in, in these brief moments of recognition. And um, I had learned though that these instances of recognition were very difficult to attain, that I didn't have really much choice about when and how they occurred. Um, so my experience was that sometimes they were brought about um, by the incredible grandeur of nature, you know, looking at a beautiful sunset from a mountain top, you know, the, the, the oneness and indivisibility of everything just obvious, completely obvious. Um, sometimes during really good sex, that moment of sexual orgasm, complete oneness. Um, occasionally through the use of drugs and also through meditation and other practices. So I had this, these experiences of this indivisible nature of everything. However, these experiences in my, for myself were so um, fleeting and far between that if a year went by and I had two or three of them in the year then I thought that was a good year and those were moments and experiences in my life that I would talk about a lot and you know, would make into this big deal and the rest of the time was actually quite disappointing because where was this incredible oneness? You know, where was this indivisibility that I'd had this tantalizing taste of? And so I tried to work out how to bring about these experiences and then began to try and rearrange my life so that I could have more of them. So I kept climbing mountains, kept trying to have sex, kept taking drugs and kept doing yoga. And yet these experiences still remained very, very elusive. And it became quite frustrating because I knew there was something beyond my conventional <coughs> description about what was going on. I knew there was something beyond all of this data that just kept spontaneously appearing. And, and data is a term just for anything that we can experience. So any thought, emotion or sensation. And um, it was only when I came across the Balanced View training that I came across a systematized approach that would allow me to recognize this complete indivisible nature of everything wherever I was, whatever I was thinking, whoever I was with and whatever I was doing. And at the beginning, with the simple instruction of taking short moments of just allowing the data just to flow on by, I began to see that I always had the option of recognizing this brilliant intelligence that I'd had glimpses of throughout my life. So for me, here for the first time, was a simple instruction set that I could take into my life and apply very directly in my everyday experience and have immediate and instinctive recognition of everything that all the greatest sages had ever been talking about throughout the whole of history. And I was amazed by this, astounded, because this had seemed something that had been so far away from my everyday lived experience. It seemed to be only present in these grand experiences. It seemed to be something mysterious, something far away, something that I might attain one day. And instead I was recognizing it as the basis of every single experience that I had. 
And it was only when I came across this training that that became my experience. And so the first support that empowered me to see this was the practice of short moments repeated many times until it becomes continuous. So this is a really simple educational tool, the way that I could train my mind. Repetition is a very powerful learning tool. Do you remember learning to write? I remember being at school and you know, having to copy out letters again and again, and it, pages and pages of writing the letter L, writing the letter L. And then after you've written it enough times, you can just write the letter L without thinking about it. So this is exactly the same kinds of educational methods that can be used to train our mind in the recognition of open intelligence and its inseparability from whatever we're experiencing. So this is short moments repeated many times. This is not one short moment of instinctive recognition and then spending the next three years talking about this incredible moment of recognition that you've had and feeling somehow frustrated because it's not there anymore. It's repeated many times. It's whenever you naturally remember returning and recognizing that open intelligence that is looking through your eyes right here and right now. Because the only place and the only time that you have the opportunity to recognize open intelligence is here and now with whatever you are thinking, feeling or sensing. That's right here and now, in this here and now. Every, every experience is permeated and pervaded by open intelligence. And the only way that you can become certain of that is by testing it out for yourself in these short moments. And so that's what I did with this first instruction. And through my own experience, this conviction dawned. By testing it out, this assurance became stronger and stronger. Not because of what anybody was telling me, not because of what I was reading in some book, but because again and again I checked out in my experience. When I allow the data to flow on by, whatever the description is for you right here and now, can I identify this natural presence of open intelligence? And I checked it out and yes, there it was. And there it was again. And I was walking on my, on my own by the Ganga, and there it was again. I was speaking to someone, short moment, ah, oh, open intelligence is the basis of all of this data too. So this is the way that assurance naturally grows. And this is the way that your natural conviction and authority also grows, because it's based on your own direct experience. This is so powerful and so important. For me, I didn't want to know about anyone else's experience. I didn't want to read any more books. I didn't want any more ideas about what the nature of reality was or what truth was. I wanted to know for myself. And so short moments was the first way that I could begin to become certain of what the nature of reality was for myself in my own experience. But there were times when short moments seemed very elusive. The data seemed so compelling and overwhelming and a perfect um, example of that is with our family and perhaps particularly with our parents. And um, so I did the 12 empowerments <coughs> in India here, um, actually in the Tapavan Resort some years ago, and had these incredible insights into the nature of reality and into the way that I had made, made my reality based on all of these learned ideas. And I began to see through them. I began to recognize all of them as shining forth equally from open intelligence. So I didn't have to get rid of them, but I had a, a more complete context for all of them. And this was wonderful. This gave me so much more spaciousness and openness and freedom to respond from a completely open heart. What's offered here is a total support system for you to decide how you want to live your life. Now I decided that living my life based on having these brief glimpses of open intelligence and the rest of the time completely caught up in believing this data had power over me was not something that I wanted to do. Now to have this instinctive recognition and to put it in a box and say these are these special moments of recognition and the rest of the time it's not there is to really limit yourself and to live a particular lifestyle based on these descriptions. The true and recognition of open intelligence means that you can recognize that with all data in all circumstances without any not being included within that. 
That includes the relationship with your mother. So the lifestyle means that there is a comprehensive support that is with you wherever you are. So short moments, well of course that's with you wherever you are. But for myself there were times when it did seem the data was so powerful that I just I could not allow it to be even for a short moment. I just couldn't do it. All of my thoughts, everything I learned about it was just was so busy, was so compelling. I, I just couldn't do it. I'd been trained to use my mind in that way for so long. But this is where the rest of the support is essential. Absolutely essential. So Balanced View utilizes all of the most recent technology to make this training available to you wherever you are. So if you do go onto the website, every day there are new talks coming up onto the website, every day. From all around the world, from trainers and participants sharing their experience of how this has benefited their lives. And for me, when I watch these videos, it's so inspiring. This is ordinary people sharing their experience of how this training has shared their life. And I watch these videos and I see these ordinary everyday people, just like me, sharing their experience. And this is like, if he can do it or she can do it, I can do it. And this is somebody just like me. This is not some, some man with a long beard sitting on a chair way up there that's got something that I'll never achieve. This is about us as normal human beings deciding how we're going to live our lives. And so that's so inspiring, all of the media on the website. You can call in to clarity calls where you join a, a video conference or an audio conference at many times throughout the day wherever you are and you can spend an hour on that call you can share one of the powerful texts from this training that will immediately bring you back to the recognition of the fundamental nature of reality when you've completed the 12 empowerments you have access to a, a personal trainer who will respond to your emails within 24 hours guaranteed this is incredible. This is just an unbelievable degree of support for you to train up this recognition within yourself. And I saw that I had the potential to train this up. So I had given up my right also of not having access to this education. It was all presented for me to decide how much I wanted to take advantage of it. And so the community as well, being around other people, that had also made this choice and seeing the way that people relate here and you know, like, like you share when you're around other people that are taking responsibility for their data and relying on the mainstays, it's so easy. It's so easy. And it's like I, I had no idea that life could be like that. I had no idea that my relationship with my data could be easeful. I had no idea that my relationship with other people could be open-hearted and easeful. I had no idea. I'd always wanted it. I'd really, really wanted it. But instead I can allow my data to be exactly as it is and once I find that capacity within myself, I can allow other people to be as they are too. And this is the greatest gift and the greatest support you can give to anyone, including your parents. To love them exactly as they are. But that first of all has to come from this love for yourself that it can only come about by allowing all of your data to be as it is, one short moment at a time. And so going back home as well, going back, for me, back to England, um, after I first came across the training in India, I had all kinds of thoughts and emotions about that. You know, um, I don't like England, everybody it's so materi materialistic there, nobody knows about open intelligence there, the weather's terrible, um, all, all of these ideas. And what I saw was that these ideas, these belief systems, these data streams that I'd really believed in, had completely ruled my experience when I went back to England. So believing all of this, guess what? I had a terrible time when I went back to England, it was awful. <laughs> but now when I allow them to be exactly as they are, and I tested out relying on open intelligence and the mainstays in England, I found that open intelligence was also in England. It wasn't just in India. Now this was quite a shock for me, but it was also a relief. Because I began to discover, well of course it is, it's the same intelligence looking through my eyes wherever I am. It doesn't matter what I'm looking at, 
doesn't matter what the data is, this intelligence is always stable, always reliable. And I can train up in this whether I'm in beautiful Rishikesh or in beautifully grey London. Exactly the same opportunity. And that for me was crucial because it wasn't some far out thing that I'd done in India and didn't have any relevance to my life in England. I could apply this wherever I was. And um, it's amazing to see that it transforms life from being something that either has to be sought after or endured into a beautiful opportunity to continue to train up and recognize your own natural perfection. Everything transformed, everything turned on its head. Everything an opportunity for you to express your complete, your complete ease, openness and, and loving nature in each moment in a totally uncontrived way just by being you. Just by being you.